Hi, welcome to a short tutorial about sending and receiving messages. You need to understand this concept in full to really understand how to create your own mechanics and logic uh, within the game maker. So I've made a little chart which explains all the behaviors and components and all the possibilities that you can do, nice and easy. Uh, and hopefully this visualization gives you a better understanding on sending and receiving messages inside the game maker. All right, so as you can see here, we've got message in, uh, an asset and message out. Um, so that's most of the logic, a message going in or a message going out or both in an asset. The asset can be whatever you want. All right, so let's go through the behaviors. So the first one we have here is an asker. Uh, you can see on the left, it has a message in possibility. So it listens for a message, that message is interact. Uh, it can be whatever message you want. Uh, interact by default is when the player goes up to it and presses E. Uh, but you can make it a message if you want, so the player can't interact with it, but the asker will pop up when a message goes in. Uh, when the message goes in, a question will be asked, and then whatever the response is, uh, a message will come out. So it can be uh, either message, uh, you put whatever you want here, but there's four possibilities of a message coming out from the asker. Here you've got the button behavior. Uh, no messages to come in for the button, but there is a message going out. So when a player interacts or pushes the button, um, a message will be sent out. That message can be sent anywhere that has a message in section. So if you have a button, player pushes it, messages goes out, and it can go into an asker, uh, which pops up a message and when the answer is selected message can go out and start a chain somewhere else uh, Next we have message broadcaster You can see there's a message in possibility when we tick the wait for broadcast. We wait for a message Once the message is received uh, There's a message to send so a message does come out from a message broadcaster um, you've got different possibilities here. You can uh, detect or send these messages above to a specific tag in range um, or to all assets in range. So usually the message broadcaster um, is, is specified by what sort of broadcast type that you want and the range that you want. Uh, next we go uh, asset spawner. Asset spawner has a few message ins. You can do multiple message ins. Uh, once this receives the message, it can spit out an asset. There is no message out for Asset Spawner, uh, only assets come out. So if you want something to appear out of nowhere um, when a message is received, um, this is what you use. Next we have a door behavior. It has multiple message ins, so you can have different messages come into the same door. Uh, when a message does come in, the door will activate. Uh, it can open and then close, open and then close. Uh, and you can select the starting animation uh, state. So if you want the door to be open at the beginning, it can or close. Uh, but then you have messages on open and message on close. So, and then it sends a message out. So if you send a message into the door and the door opens, you can have a message send out once the door is open. Uh, and when the door closes, you can have a message sent out as well. So it's quite useful there. Next we have replace asset. Uh, it listens for multiple messages coming in uh, and then it just replaces whatever the behavior is on to whatever the asset is. No messages come out with the replace asset. Uh, multi, uh, it listens for a message to come in uh, and then it spits out some blocks in the area that you've selected. So no messages come out, but blocks come out. So if you want blocks to come out of somewhere, you use a multi. If you want an asset to come out of somewhere, uh, you can use an asset spawner. Next, we have plant behavior. It listens for a message. Uh, it listens for multiple messages. Uh, once it receives that message, it dies. Um, no messages go out, nothing else comes out. It's very useful to kill an asset uh, without any death animation. Next, we have void. It listens for a message, and then it can either delete blocks delete assets or both. Um, it doesn't send any messages um, and you will need to kill a void when you activate it uh, because it will keep going until it dies uh, which can lag out your whole game because it's still deleting things that aren't there constantly. Uh, but to trigger it, it needs a message in. 
So that's all of the behaviors. Uh, let's go down to the components. Uh, next we have toggle behavior. It's the most important uh, component in my opinion. Uh, it allows you to turn on and off the behaviors on the asset um, and allows you to thing, uh, turn things on and off. Um, very useful, watch my other tutorials on how it's used. Uh, in this one, it only listens for messages. Uh, there's nothing coming out, but it listens for messages coming in and then it either turns on the behavior, turns off the behavior, or toggles between on and off. Uh, and you can have initial behaviors start, uh, state being on or off. So if you have a platform, you can have it switched off at the beginning rather than it moving if it was on true. Next we have health. Very, very useful, used quite a lot by myself. Um, it listens for a message in, which is a def. Uh, and then when it dies, it sends a message out. Uh, when it sends a message out, it also requires a tag. So you make sure you have a tag on the asset you're sending a message to. Um, also, if you change a def event to reset, uh, you can use this health component over and over again, as long as it keeps sending the message into it and it will keep sending the message out. Um, and you can have a def delay, so you can have as long as you want, one minute or two seconds before the message is sent out. Um, next, we have play sound. It listens for a message coming in, and once it receives that message, a sound will come out. So you can play whatever sound that's inbuilt into the game maker. Um, you can have it loop in, or play 3D, or just uh, 2D. You can switch that on and off. Uh, but it waits for a message for a sound to come out. Next is drop component. Uh, it listens for a message coming in if you've got the drop condition as message. Uh, and then uh, an asset will drop and it can be collectible. When you collect it, the message can come out uh, to do something. So uh, you kill an enemy, it drops an asset, you collect that asset, it sends a message out which can open a door or spawn something or anything that requires a message in. Uh, speaker component, uh, another one that's used quite a lot. Uh, here you can detect an enemy or an avatar to send the message or you can wait for a message. So here it says message in. Once it receives the message, it will display the text above and then you have the option to send a message out. So message in and message out happens at the exact same time uh, as long as you have uh, a message in the output. And the last two here is defeat. So it listens for a message in. Uh, once it receives that message, uh, a defeat screen will pop up, a game over screen pretty much. And the last one here is collectible. Uh, no message is coming in, but if an item is collectible and you pick it up on collision, you can send a message to go out. So you can make doors open or anything else that requires a message in. Okay. So that's all the ins and outs for your messages for the behaviors and components. Let's see a example of this being used here. Uh, this is setting up a conversation between two players that you are able to watch. Okay, you can start a chain by sending a message into a health component. It will listen for that message. You can send it in any way that requires a message out from something and then it goes into here. This will kill the health component after five seconds. It will send a message uh, talk.1 with the tag talk.1. So if we follow the yellow line, it goes up to this speaker. Uh, talk.1 is the message it's listening for. It also has the tag talk.1. Once it receives that message, it will display the text above and then send the message kill message in two. So then it goes down here to the next health component. Uh, and then it destroys that health component. It waits five seconds and then sends the message talk to to talk to, which is over to this speaker. And then it displays this dialogue once it receives talk to with the tag talk to. Then it sends the message instantly uh, to kill message in three and it, then it keeps repeating. So the delay here is five seconds. Uh, the text will display for five seconds. So you can have a conversation that chains between two players uh, or more, um, and this will automatically happen with timing and the message has been sent uh, to start a conversation. But the messages in and the messages out is what you look for 
uh, and that's all you need to pay attention to when it comes to the behaviors and components. If you have any questions, um, message me on Discord and I'll help clear it up. Thanks for watching.